Hi, I'm Kathy from Absolutely Fabulous, and today I thought I'd take you on a little tour of bread makers. The Cuisinart bread maker is where we started many years ago, and we have carried this bread maker for a long time. It's a workhorse. It has a nice capacity. We'll do up to a two pound loaf. Has a nice big container in it for baking, mixing, baking. Has a good handle to lift it out. The little paddle fits in and out very easily. Little viewing window to see how things are going. And very programmable. I believe this one has 12 different functions on, on um, you know, the crust you're baking, the type of bread you're baking, be it white or whole wheat or something specialty. And so very, very much a workhorse in the bread making. So that was the very first one we have and still have and still a very good machine. The next one to come along was Breville. And Breville being an Australian company, this is a smaller bread maker, but it's heavier than this one. Breville always puts a little bit more into their appliances. There always is a little bit more construction, a little bit more finish on the way things are made. So what Breville has that the Cuisinart doesn't have, it has very similar in the size, the capacity of the bowl, but let's put this back here. Lid comes off so you can clean it easily. This little paddle will fold down. So that is kind of a neat feature. So it's here in the pan. I'm going to put it back in and we'll take a shot of that. So when it comes to baking, so it's upright for mixing, when it's finished, it flips down. So now you're not going to have that big hole in the bottom of your bread loaf, which a lot of people did kind of object to when they first started using bread makers. What this one has that none of the others have is this little slot, I guess, at the back. So let's say I wanted to add nuts and raisins to my bread. Uh, maybe I like a really, you know, coarse kind of heavy bread and I like all those sort of things in it. Well, before you had to stop your machine and add it. With this one, you put in what you want to add and you program it into the bread making. So at the appropriate time, like say after the first rise, when it's getting ready for its second rise, it will automatically incorporate whatever it is you wanted to add. Very, very programmable. Um, you select how dark you want the crust, you select the size of the loaf, It'll do three sizes again as well, and it's just a little touch more compact than the Cuisinart. So Cuisinart said, okay, well, we're going to go one step further. We're going to come up with a compact bread maker, because these are obviously fairly large and are going to take up some space on your counter. This one is very compact, but will do the same size loaf. It's because the container is more upright. So the others, the shape would be a little bit more like this, like you might expect your standard loaf to be. With the compact version, it's a little bit more upright. But they've done a nice square loaf, so you're still going to have a good bread for making sandwiches. It just locks, drops in, locks in. Still has a viewing window. Again, very programmable. Um, you can put your, how dark you want the crust, because that's what most people are looking for. If you're making homemade bread, you're making it the way you like it. You are controlling the whole process. So if bread making is in your future, there is a wonderful lineup of bread makers that can make your sandwiches even better.